good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to another episode of Nexus Craft, here with me, Blue Nexus Gaming. And hello, and greetings, and salutations, and all of that lovely um, various things. Uh, last we left off, I was heading towards this spider spawner because I wanted to get some form of string. I want some form of string. I need a string farm. Therefore, I need to handle this spider spawner. However, just another issue here, that is, I need, I need some form of stair slash slab, I'm not sure which I need, but whichever one it is, I think I will be finding that I think I will be finding that I need a lot of them. I think, oops, I think I will use the half slabs. Where did I store the grindstone? Is that... Oh, that's up there. Okay, that's up at the kelp farm. That's good, because I'll be heading up there anyways. Come on, don't take damage. There we go. Oh, that's not up here. That's right, I moved it elsewhere. Where did I move that? It was moved to the... I believe that was moved to the Iron Golem Farm? Uh, that means I gotta go all the way out there. Okay, well... That's fine, I suppose. That gives me a chance to get a decent survey of the land, as it were. Make sure everything's all nice and tidy. players ended up surviving pretty well against a nice small armada of bandits in my D&D campaign. Uh, specifically, I sent at them, I believe it was 16 bandits two drow elite warriors uh... what else was there? there was... a bandit captain and then there was... Uh, one... Uh, master thief I think it was And the players fared pretty well, actually. And I'm just going to go ahead and harvest this wheat. Because 
I'm going to be down there for a while, therefore I want to have a, as much wheat growing as possible. Therefore I'm doing a slightly earlier harvest time here in order to make sure that I will be returning to possibly roughly the same amount as we're seeing here. Decently well, however, I'm fairly sure that the hard drive is missing a few things that is required to keep the hard drive in place, which basically means I gotta get it repaired. Probably gotta take it to a repair shop. I don't know what type of screws it needs. I don't know what size screws it needs. Uh, they would be more knowledgeable on that matter. I have a repair shop of some type for computers. However, once the computer is fixed with the proper length of screws, I could probably very easily go through an entire campaign session without having my computer crash. Now, one option is that I just do the same thing that they do and just Google all of the components so that I know exactly what I need in order to repair it myself. I could do that. I could very easily do that. You know, I, I got a decent, like, I, I want to call it training, but it wasn't exactly training. I got familiarized a little bit with the process in the past. very knowledgeable in computers, allowing myself to very easily uh, get familiarized with my computer hardware when I was building it. built computer hardware in a decent while. Therefore, I'm kind of a little bit skeptical of my own capacity to uh, disassemble and reassemble my own laptop, especially since I don't even have all of the screws to begin with. You know, I could estimate, but it would be more productive if I looked up the model. Uh... 
Anyways, what I'm doing here in this spider spawner room is I am very simply going through clearing out this lower layer here to make sure that the spiders are not going to get uh, are not going to get themselves uh, caught on any of the various materials here by which I mean you know the uh, the actual presence of the external wall and whatnot. Um, what I want to do is I want to dig out this back wall here in order to make sure that the spiders do not have access to this material because spiders have a tendency to climb walls. Now, I know you probably can't see anything, and I can barely see anything, but I do believe I just gathered all of the coal in that section. Now I can take some of this stone, which I have already gathered from all of this digging. Where did I just stick that? Is that right there? Right there. I can't remember. Either way, I just want to make sure it's properly filled in. First, I want to have this going across. What that's going to do is that's going to flush everything this way. I'm not sure if I want it at this level or the lower level. I probably want it at the lower level. First, create a infinite water source over here, I suppose.
And there we go. We have ourselves an infinite water source. We can very easily go through, fill up this entire section with water sources. What this will allow us to do is very easily sweep all of the spiders into one section of this spider spawner room, which we are filling in with water. Uh, we're not filling in the whole room with water, just the floor. Now, you can see here that we have this little ledge. Now what most people would do is they would just dig it out and continue on with the build like that. However, that's not quite good enough in most cases. In most cases, what you're actually wanting to do is you want to dig it back by three. And what this will allow you to do is very, very easily ensure that no matter what happens to the spiders, they will make sure to make their way to the end of the line here. Even if the spider has managed to attempt to, you know, climb the walls, they won't be able to because you'll be just pouring tons and tons of water on them. And therefore, they just won't have the option to climb the walls. do here is instead we want to have half slabs on the bottom. And you'll notice this definitely creates a lot more clearance when trying to navigate through the area. Additionally, we want Fill in the area along the sides, which we are using to move this over to here. Can I not, can I not jump right there? Okay. In that case, let me move this here, and then I want to place into here, make sure I use these first. Polished diorite slab right there. Now I can get out nice and easy. No problemo, as they say. Now, I take these buckets and once again make use of the infinite water source 
I can then run over here and retrieve this little corner section because I am going to use that as a new infinite water source whilst I work. Hmm, this is something I had not really planned out very well. I need some form of interruption between these specific sections. Okay, well, looks like I don't have this infinite water source to work with, because I need to work from up here. we have the proper amount of water sources, and then I need to go through filling in all of this section. Yeah, I should fill all of this in first, because otherwise it's going to cause problems. is going to be very easy. <laughs> However, not all items are going to be as cooperative as we want them. Therefore, quickly with the infinite water source. source. Ah, no infinite water sources inside the area here. Well, 
didn't quite work out as planned. I think I've got another water source. Oops. Stone here, one of the water. Because I have this place very well lit, I do not need to worry about enemies spawning on top of me, and even if I did have an enemy spawn on top of me, they can't get past this unless they're a zombie or a skeleton. Or an enderman. Enderman could technically get past that, but enderman can teleport, so I can't really prepare too much for an enderman to you know, show up. Yes, yes, yes. I am aware and familiar with my alarms. Uh, it is currently evening, as you just saw. <laughs> I have more than enough to deal with at the moment. I don't need to turn on the radio on top of that. as well as fill in these water sources, which need to be filled in. difficult to collect.
give me an accurate measurement over just how much of this is from there. I just wanted to double check the measurements. currently trying to do is I'm trying to figure out how do I want to build this. Do I want to have it where the half slabs are on the lower levels or the upper levels? slabs on the upper levels. This will allow us to funnel the various spiders into to the proper areas. Somewhat difficult to fill in all of this stuff. <sighs> because I am needing to do it all on a touch screen. I would be much more fluent if I was using a mouse and keyboard. However, I do believe. That this has provided uh, enough of a uh, 
אני עושה ו... measure of uh, oh, the other one didn't have it this one did uh, enough of a measure of uh, a method to push them away from the walls I don't want the spiders to be near the walls if I can help it further from the walls the spiders are, the better off I should be. this whole section. Which means that if I were to go about doing something like this, ah, I see, I found a bunch of my diorite over here. This ledge here and then I can push it down one. Okay, yeah, that should work. Okay. Now I need to do slabs there. saying because I want to have this area get a nice facelift, a nice makeover as it were. half slabs and that should allow me to two more that should allow me to very easily uh, ok 
control whether or not This area, which is going to end up going out that way. Okay, now that I've got that figured out, I can actually place the infinite water source right there. to worry about having this water here anymore, which means I can now move around freely in this back section. this out with a half slab. then it's going to create an infinite water source when we fill it in. Then we'll just have the same problem that we just finished having. Okay. Glad we got that figured out in advance.
believe I need to actually fill in this in order to prevent that from happening. But should, in theory, allow me to very easily access the entire section here with relative ease. Hmm. I don't really like how little it's pushing. Oh, yeah. It does help if I actually manage to keep all of them filled with proper water sources. Yeah. I might have to raise these. It's pushing, but it's not pushing very hard or far. Meanwhile, with this, it's pushing all the way over. Therefore, yeah, I think I just gotta have it elevated properly. Now how far is this one pushing? Yeah, now it seems to be pushing all the way. fall in here, they will get funneled all the way to this far corner over here, eventually. Um, I might need dig out just a little bit of this wall in order to properly funnel everything to the correct location.
this is going to be the proper build layout. I'm not sure though. I will need more diorite though. not going to work. There's a section where it's not pushing anything. Yeah, that's not going to work at all, is it? Hmm. What if... Just a theory. Oops. If I were to move this up here, no, well, this one's not moving. Definitely going to need more diorite because this doesn't. This just doesn't work. This attempt did not work. Therefore, I must retrieve more diorite. Should be enough. Up I go. This is going to hurt a little bit. Oh, I guess not. Okay. 
Okay. Now, I want... Oh, come on. Seriously, I'm even walking in that direction and I missed it. That's just annoying. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. I'm trying to get to this spider spawner that's down here in order to Oops, in order to get myself situated with a string farm. Problem is, I need to get myself a bit of a faster method of return and possibly somewhere else to breathe when I am in here. First thing I need to do is start making it so that the water has a reason to flow again. Second thing I need to do is find some means of extending.
the path of this water in order to force the water to be more cooperative. We have an odd numbered room here. Because whilst at it, I can go ahead with decorating the place. I will want a better looking floor in case I ever do find myself in this kill chamber, or, well, collection chamber for the kill chamber, technically. damage. Okay. 